food and drink photography has never been more popular and no subject more so than a burger and a coffee. So in this video I'm going to show you how to take better photos, burgers and coffee. Everyone loves a photo of a good burger, but so many people take pictures of a burger or a bun inside the case, and it ends up being more of a photo of the case than of the actual delicious food. So my first tip when shooting burgers is to free it, think out the box, and actually put the burger on top of the box. We can see the whole beautiful burger in front of us. We can turn it around, see if there's a more attractive angle. Then I can position it more easily. I would also really like to pay attention to the background of a picture because, you know, it can really distract if you haven't got it right. So here I'm using the lines on these tiles, making sure that they're exactly in the middle of the view. The other benefit of putting it on top of the box is that you can photograph it from a slightly lower angle. You're looking up at the food, you're making that sandwich look bigger and tastier than it already is. Another great angle to go for is the point of view shot. That's where you're actually holding the sandwich, bringing it towards your mouth as if you're going to eat it. Of course, you're not bringing it towards your mouth, you're bringing it towards the camera. It can be a bit fiddly to do with uh, one hand in each. Again, pay attention to your backgrounds. And there you go, that burger heading straight towards your mouth. This can also work well if you've already taken a bite out of the sandwich. Some sandwiches look best of all when you can actually see what's inside them. So cut it in half and position it so you can actually see what's inside. Now, unless you're the kind of person who carries a very sharp knife with you, it's best to ask the person in the restaurant or the cafe to do it for you. They're bound to have a better knife than you will. Then simply position the two halves somewhere, open them up, and there you can see inside and actually see the deliciousness that you're about to eat. Okay. Food and drink always looks best under natural light. So we're on the side of the back of the cafe under artificial lighting. Come to the front, come to where the window is and you'll get much nicer looking results. So the first thing to think about is the position of the cup on the table itself. If you have it near the middle here, then you could go for a picture which basically uses the whole table as the background. So I've just got this beautiful orange background on my picture. Nothing to distract it. But I like something a bit more interesting. So I'm going to go for a picture more from above with the cup closer to the edge. That means that I get a bunch of concentric circles. I've got the circle here of the coffee cup, the circle of the saucer, and then this off-center circle here of the table itself. And I can use this curve of the table to actually cut through the frame. It works really, really nicely. The only other things you really need to think about is whether you want to rotate the cup so you can see the handle or not, and what you want to do with the spoon. Sometimes you want the spoon in the picture, sometimes you don't. I find it helpful to angle it in a position where it also helps with the curve of the table, if that's the kind of table you've got. Also think about the position of any latte art that's actually on the top of the coffee cup. You may want it round to the side to point in a certain direction, maybe to point at a certain corner of the frame. Basically, there's no rules, you just play around with this until it looks the way you want it to. Then it's a case of just positioning it on the frame until you really like the way it looks. So I'm going to bring the coffee cup in so that the circle of the saucer is near the circle of the table. Position that spoon just so that I like the way the reflections look on it, and the position of course. And then as for the actual position of the coffee itself, I'm going to use the rule of thirds here and position it roughly over that cross section. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a bit of a guideline. And then choose my framing and where I want this curve to cut the frame, and that looks pretty good. If you prefer to see the handle of the cup, also bring that round. Careful about your foot, always if you're pointing downwards, so I'm going to move my foot out of the frame and that looks fine to me. It's always important when you're taking pictures of whether it's a coffee or a person or a landscape to always take a quick double check of the background to make sure there's nothing distracting in there. In that instance, it was my foot. I got it out of the way in time. 